Something has literally just blown my mind, so stick with me and I'm going to try and explain it. So, a trapezium has two parallel sides, here and here. That's what makes it a trapezium. Just two sides that are parallel, one pair of parallel sides. And to work out the area, it's always good to know that it's area equals a half A plus B times by H. This is your formula to work it out. So in this case, it's going to be 4 plus 9 and a half of that times by 6. Well, adding this together is going to be 13 over 2 times by 6, which on the calculator is going to be 39 centimeters squared for this question. Okay, now why is it a half A plus B? Here's the first part. Well, because what we're doing is we have A and B, which are parallel sides, and we are essentially averaging them and turning this into a almost a rectangle shape. Because to find the, 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 the average value between A and B, you add them together and divide them by how many there are, which is two. That's why we do it. So we're turning this question into another question, which is basically base times height. But the base is just a half A plus B, okay? So you just average those sides. Now that's not the mind blowing part. The mind blowing part I've realized is this formula, a half A plus B times height, can work out the majority of shapes areas, okay? because we've just proven how it shows to work out the area of a trapezium, okay? And we've seen how it works out the area of a rectangle just here, okay? Because if you had a rectangle and this was 30 and this was 30, well, a half A plus B would be 30 plus 30 divided by two, which is gonna be 30 again, so that would work. However, it also works for a triangle. Why does it work for a triangle too? Well, because technically, a is at the top and B is at the bottom. A is zero at the top. You don't have a side length there. And what happens in the formula? Well, if A equals zero, you're just going to end up with a half B times height, B being the base, a half base times height, which is the formula for the area of a triangle. In other words, this is a overpowered formula that we should be memorizing as it tells you how to work out the formulas, the areas for any shape, even including parallelograms like this, if you have the perpendicular height.